You might be surprised to find out where this horse farm is located. In Queens, New York, horseback riding might not seem like a typical New York City activity, but for the riders at Gallup NYC, it's an important part of their day. That's because many of the riders that come here are veterans and people with disabilities. Horseback riding is their therapy. They become your friend, like you can talk to them, you can give them, pet them, you can hug them. It's like they're like, they're not just like an animal you ride, they're like your companion, your buddy. 16-year-old Olivia Diver has only been riding horses for a few months, but she says she's already felt the benefits. Well, it helped me come out of my comfort zone and be like less, less shy and less like, like in my, like in my shell, it helped me come out of my shell and out of my shadow and make me feel like more like safe and calm and happy. James Wilson is executive director at Gallup NYC. He says there are many ways horses can be therapeutic. The horse sees the world in the way that somebody with PTS might see the world, right? In a really guarded sort of uh, anxious way. So somebody with PTS and a horse can sort of partner together and, and, and see the world in the same way and kind of take care of each other. Time with a horse for a veteran, for example, or somebody who suffered trauma, um, that time with a horse can be very therapeutic. Horses can also help with physical disabilities. My favorite story is this like teenager who was who had so little core strength that he um, his mother had to be in the bathtub with him. And after uh, two years or uh, 18 months of therapeutic riding, he had enough core strength that he could be in the shower by himself, which is an incredible amount of agency that this young man was able to get just because he was riding a horse. And to me, that's incredible. And that's what we're here for. Wilson is from Texas, and when he moved to New York, he missed horses, so he began working here. In fact, many of the volunteers are horse people who want to continue that passion even though they live in a city, and they convert others into horse people, something that can end up changing their lives. Almost every year we have a rider who's classified as nonverbal, right, who, who says their first word. But it's, it's incredible when this happens because, you know, a kid who, who everybody said, oh, don't worry, they're not perfect. They just, they just haven't spoken yet. And very often their first word is trot on because a trot is, is a little bit faster. And they're like, let's go, I want to trot. 